My name is Mr. Daramola AP and I'll be teaching you mathematics. This are the class rules. The topic of today is cyclic quadrilateral. We are moving on from where we stopped. In our last class, we stopped at a theorem which states angles in alternate segments are equal. And I believe we've been able to deal extensively on that topic. Quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral, quadrilateral inside a circle. And these are the learning objectives. So we have these three questions as our starter in relation to our last topic. I believe we should be able to do this accurately. All right, pick up your pen and write down the answer for angle A, B, G, H, and angle Y. The quote of the day, if people do not believe that mathematics is simple, it is only because they do not realize how complicated life is, by Pluto, Plato, I'm sorry, using your circle, draw a quadrilateral where all four vertices are on the circumference of the circle, measure the angle of each vertex in your quadrilateral, what do you notice? Find an exterior angle of your quadrilateral, what do you notice? You can generalize this result. Okay. Cyclic quadrilateral notes. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degree. Angle A plus B add up to 180 degree. And the second theorem, the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral equals the opposite interior angle. And the second circle angle a inside is the same thing as angle a outside the exterior opposite and these are worked example example one and two we are asked to find angle x and y and angles r q and p angle x is 180 degree minus 85 because they are opposite each other and they sum up to 180 degree and angle Y is 70 degree. Angle P is 45 degree. Angle on a straight line. Angle Q is 110 degree. 180 minus 70. And angle R is 135. From the rule that says exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to opposite interior angle. Let's watch this video. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose vertices all touch the circumference of, of the circle. So basically this is a quadrilateral that's inside a circle and its vertices touch the circumference of a circle. Now what you want to do here is to investigate the properties of these angles. So I'm going to use an application to explore um, the relationship between these angles now what i'm going to do is to move around angle a and c and first of all even before i move it what do you notice here if i add angle a plus c we can see that this will add up to 180 degrees okay now if i change the position of b and uh, uh, c for example up to there you can still see that these opposite angles, they still add up to 180 degrees, okay? Now, if I change again uh, B and C, for example, at that point, we can see that these two angles, these opposite angles um, in a cyclic quadrilateral, they still add up to 180 degrees. So we can conclude and say that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 100 degrees. So we can say opposite 
angles in a cyclic So they always add up to 180 degrees. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, B plus D, B plus D will always be equal to 180 degrees. And the same applies to A plus um, C. Always be equal to 180 degrees. So we are going to use this idea to solve a few questions here. Um, so find the size of the lettered angles in each of these circles. So, using that theorem, we can be able to find out um, the missing angles. Let's start with um, um, A. We can start by finding what angle D is. We know that this angle plus this angle here, they add up to 180 degrees. So you can go ahead and say D will be 180 minus uh, 85 which will be equal to 95 degrees okay let's take this out so because opposite angles in cyclic lateral add up to 180 uh, and then we can move to E before we work out E we can work out this missing angle here so this angle here will be equal to 180 minus uh, um, 111 degrees which will be equal to um, 69. So that will be 69 degrees. So, which means that angle E will be 180 minus 69, which will just give us 111 degrees. Okay? Alright. Um, in the next question, and again, if you notice here, these are opposite angles. So this will be 38 degrees which means angle N will be equal to 180 minus 38 and that will be equal to 142 degrees okay and then um, this angle here this one here it will be equal to um, 180 minus 118 which will be equal to um, 62 degrees which means angle M will be equal to 180 minus 62 which will be equal to 180 degrees okay all right Let's look at this IGCSE past paper likewise. We're asked to work out the size of angle BAE. BAE. That is, we're asked to find the entire angle A. And we're asked to work out angle CBE. CBE. The bigger part of angle B. Okay. Let's look at the solution. And triangle B A E is an isosceles. So that's why we have that 180 minus 2 times 25, which is 130. Then the bigger part of angle B is 180 minus 95. This is another question. Likewise, we have to find angle X and Y. I want to give reasons for our answer. This is from the first theorem. We say it's angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. So X is 140 degree, 70 times 2. And mathematically, in the cyclic or literal, if one of the angle at the circumference is 70, 70 the opposite one will be 110 and that is why question 3 
I'd like you to go over the topic and the video for better understanding. Alright, these are the work we have to do, extended work and standard work. Everyone should be able to do this and some scholars should be able to attempt this appropriately. And this is for the high flyers. I would like to see the solution of this, which I'm still going to post on our quiz platform. Our plenary. I can now define the cyclic code literal and soft questions in cyclic code literal. The lesson is prepared by Mr. Daramala, AP, Oxford Manor College. With the aid of YouTube video and